guys. Get ready for a roller coaster ride through tales of road rage and brace yourself for the inevitable consequences. Okay, let's get it on. So I should have Lucy, but she didn't. There's always going to be what ifs. What if I had gotten down? There are always like idiot traffic participants like this. I have to repeat many times that everyone should pay attention to moving slowly in the rain because it is very slippery. He really should learn how to turn again because I think there is enough space and the road is not too crowded for him to be able to do this turn well. According to the information I know, the driver was drinking while driving and her punishment was deserved. That's why you keep left unless overtaking. I guess he wanted to teach him a lesson but wound up losing at least one tire and part of his trailer. This vehicle lost some traction driving on the snowy roads. He needs help. Okay, Garmin. Save video. Oh no, you can only be lucky once. Oh my god. It's too bulky and I don't find it sturdy. Driving directly on the center line is also a mess. We'll answer your call and work to fit you into a turn policy that you can afford. Remember, oh, you shit. on meds too. Oh happened in Little Rock, Arkansas. The driver was paying full attention to his phone, right? You can boo all you want. But here's the thing. Our faith teaches us. I guess your car doesn't have a rear backup camera. Did you see the look of the Audi leaving arrogantly, as if nothing had happened? At the end, he accepted his fault and covered the cost of the repairs. The driver of the Ford Taurus runs a red light on Seca Road and nearly collides wow. with the Jeep driver who was turning left from a shopping center's driveway. Honking to signal is also a way to attract the attention of others. Maybe you will avoid many sleeping idiots. Super close call with a distracted driver on the wrong side of the road around a blind corner.
inspect your vehicle regularly to detect repairs before problems occur. No contact was made. Driver of the red pickup seemed unaware of the whole situation. Okay, Garmin. What is he trying to do? Some drivers just love to make their own road rules. Seems to be happening more and more. Just in time. Thanks to Combat Tracker, I can spend my time tracking my wife. Hopefully this is a lesson for those watching to always look behind when backing up, especially when living on a busy street like this. This is northbound Alcoa High adjacent to the Knoxville, Tennessee airport. Oh my god, the speed at which he cut the lane, unacceptable. Lucky the battery didn't catch fire. Imagine if you hit that whilst you were on a motorcycle, unimaginable. Is that seems almost deliberate. Driver not in control of his movements, right? According to the information I heard, the Mercedes was going the wrong way on a one-way street, apparently trying to escape from pursuit. witnessed a collision on military highway in Norfolk. Make sure to follow through with that person and say hello to the police as well.
think it's had some damage, but not to a third party. And we've gone to higher ratio to it. Stop there now! Stop! Stop there! Ashley Carl Bennett, 22, has been jailed for 64 weeks after a high-speed chase. Slow is fast. He wouldn't have been more efficient if he had sprinted over. Well, she's proven herself to be completely useless. Is there a reason she's not assisting her partner? My guess is she was paranoid about the cop behind her and looking in the rear view mirror a bunch and not paying enough attention to what's in front of her. The driver turned too wide and headed towards oncoming traffic and police brought immediate justice. He's a chem bike. Vehicle is first, taken first. Stand by. The driver just got in the back. The police chase caused the car to lose control. Let's get him up. Right, we're going to get you up. Put your legs in front of you. Put your legs in front of you, buddy. I really wish I could see this more often where I live. Instant karma. Good. After all, these are unsafe people. Do you recognize where? They were not wearing helmets and did not have proper license plates. Yeah, well deserved. It came sooner than I thought. Oh no, safe distance guys, even at that lower speed. Parking must be quick, definitive, exactly. This time he wasn't decisive enough. What I was looking forward to was the police car lights coming on. It seems like he, the woman and the car that appears at the end are trying to block your way. Please ensure that you adhere to the speed limits on the roads and maintain a safe speed at all times. Pay attention and observe. The siren woke her up.
Maybe he was losing focus, didn't even know which way to go. This man should never be allowed to do this again. This will affect everyone. It comes from a small town in New Zealand called Inglewood. Drives like a Muppet. Look, who is that? Passing the car to the last minute failed. Are you deliberately looking for trouble? How could you not see a police car nearby? Experience the rapid transition from aggression to remorse when road rage causes the driver to provoke the wrong opponent. People like this are so arrogant that it's only a matter of time before they face obstacles. Yes, the inevitable happens when a white SUV turns on a red light. Yeah, that's right. Instant justice. Oh, I think the space is not enough for cyclists to squeeze through. Perfect couples. Be polite behind the wheel. Violence is not the answer. Savage. <laughs> Pedestrians increasingly frustrated by vehicles splashing water while crossing. Patience wears thin with each soak. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> He didn't know he had bumped into the wrong person. This is probably a worthy lesson for his hasty actions. Really, motherfucker? His mistake was to assume that the path was his own. He will soon realize that justice is everywhere. A black BMW passed just as the police were approaching, he thought he could pass justice. Oh no, the police didn't give him a chance. I predict he will immediately regret his reckless decision to change lanes. He was immediately punished for deciding to check the brakes. It was a pity that the other person also had to endure it. If someone stands up to stop them, they will soon end everything right. Oh, they are like immature children, acting extremely crazy. They think they can bully an old man. 
Давай назад. Не меня завести ни в коем случае. Слышь? Держи! Пусть камни убегает! Держи! Держи! Ха-ха-ха! They were wrong. You really don't know how to measure yourself. Calm down. This is definitely not how you want your life to turn out, right? Like I usually say, keep calm, be more observant, and handle problems with the kindness of a gentleman. I hope the biker's foot is not injured. Expressing excessive anger in public is something no one should have to do, regardless of gender. The best thing we need to deal with a chaotic crowd is the police, although sometimes they still don't stop. Staying calm so as not to get caught up in conflicts is the best thing you need when participating in traffic, so try to keep yourself clear-headed. Never engage with a road rager. Keep your windows up, don't make eye contact, create distance between the rager and yourself. There's an incredible chase down the road, and it's definitely a crash-prone situation because they can't see what's behind them. Weapons that are legalized in some states in the US always make people scared, and now they bring it into the road rage. Okay. Give me a second to somersault into the car and the car somersaults right after. Hope everyone is okay. Nothing serious happened, but I hope this act of losing his temper doesn't make him regret it. Road rage occurred in Montgomery, New York. It seemed like there was a lot of traffic on the road, so stopping to argue was not a good idea. Changing lanes on the road is something that requires great attention. Remember, don't rush, don't be impatient, and don't cause trouble with others before you can stay calm. Lucky for the motorcyclist is the car behind them that has a dash cam. Nine, seven, one. We got it all on video here, hang on. What is this? Did he win the race to the police station? It seems that this passerby intentionally attacked a random car on the road. The question is why did he do that? Although I don't know what happened before, if the car had collided with the other two people instead of the motorbike, something much worse might have occurred. I think it's easy to know who's driving carelessly. The man in the car tried very hard to calm down. Is that pepper spray? Changing lanes is legal and normal practice in many places in the country. The driver should have been checking mirrors and blind spots, not to mention the brake check.
Slowing down is the best way to get through the intersection safely instead of getting angry at others. Anyway, everyone is fine. Instead of road rage, now we have boat rage, haha. I think the riskiness is much higher because they are all on the water, right? Not only men, among women there are also such arguments on the road. Either way, it's not a good idea to block traffic. Honestly, if every stretch of road had a road rage incident that forced everyone to stop for a few minutes until it was resolved, it would take more time than, than everyone drove calmly and signaled for the person in front to pass. Although it's not clear how he got there when the car was speeding away, it's good if no one was injured. Sometimes driving safely does not necessarily make you safe, because you may find people who are always looking to express their anger like this. Russia again, do they use old people's walking sticks to cause road rage? Suddenly I wonder about its real use. Lady tried to run over her boyfriend. Do you think it was simply a couple's argument? I hate drivers who do this. There's usually a significant speed difference between the two lanes. His impatience faced instant karma. This guy was speeding and got pulled over by the police. How police ensures seatbelt safety. Unveiling the check process. Trying to cut in line, but karma and the JP had other plans. En route to Six Flags in Jackson, New Jersey, I saw this SUV legally using the right shoulder. However, a state trooper on the opposite side was ready to catch him. Q Dodger Corps, Nuss intervention and impatient driver captured on dash cam. Driver caught by police using hard shoulder to skip queue. Oh, fortunate escape from a collision. This daring guy, instantly facing justice, receives his due karma. Suzuki Swift runs a red light as Dyfed Powies traffic police watch. Instant karma follows. Instant justice at a dual left turn lanes traffic light. The white SUV narrowly avoids a collision, yet the driver remains unapologetic even after a honk. He didn't see the police car up ahead.
Cop pulls over a driver on the shoulder, delivering swift justice. The cop could have taken their licenses, but chose to send them to the back of the queue. As we end this journey, we appreciate your company. If you enjoyed it, please support by liking and subscribing. Keep tapping for more videos. Thanks for staying till the end. See ya.